Image formation by spherical mirrors. Find the focal length of given concave mirror. To find the focal length of given concave mirror, place a concave mirror on the table with wooden stand in such a way that facing some object tree. Take a white colored screen opposite to the concave mirror. Now adjust the screen to find the well-defined image of the tree. Find the position of screen where you get clear image on the screen. Then measure the distance between the mirror and the screen image. This distance gives the focal length of the given mirror. Repeat this experiment and find the mean of observations. This mean value gives the focal length of the given mirror. Take a concave mirror. Find out its approximate focal length in the way described above. Note down the value of focal length. Remember, for a spherical mirror of small aperture, the principal focus F lies midway between pole P and the center of curvature C. Keep a bright object, say a burning candle, at a point far beyond C. Place a paper screen and move it in front of the mirror till you obtain a sharp bright image of the candle flame on it. Observe the image carefully. Note down its nature, position and relative size with respect to the object size. Repeat the activity by placing the candle A. Just beyond C. B. At C. C. Between F and C. D. At F and E between P and F. In one of the cases, you may not get the image on the screen. Identify the position of the object in such a case, then look for its virtual image in the mirror itself. Note down and tabulate your observations. You will see in the above activity that the nature, position and size of the image formed by a concave mirror depends on the position of the object in relation to points P, F and C. The image formed is real for some positions of the object. It is found to be a virtual image for a certain other position. The image is either magnified, reduced or has the same size depending on the position of the object.